Well, good evening and welcome to West Laco East High School. K West bringing you district season opener 31 6A ladies softball. It is your Lady Wildcats taking on the Lady Chiefs from Donna North High School. Let's give you the starting lineups for both ball squads. Leading off, playing catcher number two, Sarah Sanchez. Batting second, number seven, the third baseman, Paulina Magdaleno. Batting third, the first baseman, number 13, Galilea Jimenez. Batting fourth, the shortstop, number six, Kelly Garza. Batting fifth, playing second base, number 16, Kaylin Cavazos. Batting sixth at center field, number nine, Deanne De Leon. The designated player, number 15, Maray Reyes. In right field, batting eighth, number 16, Destiny Cantu. On the mound for the Lady Chiefs, number three, Janisa Garcia. She's also batting ninth. And the flex player, playing on left field, will be number 14, Isabel Alvarez. Your Lady Wildcats line up defensively. Left field, we got Melissa Cabrera. In center field, Tatiana Cabrera. In right field, Abby Ortiz. Playing third base is Rihanna Garcia at shortstop. Allison Rogers, second baseman, is Adriana Gonzalez. At first base, Laisha Castillo. Catching tonight for your Lady Wildcats, Cecilia Bautista. And on the circle for your Lady Wildcats tonight, Ashley Garcia. I am Joe Aguilar, going to bring you all the plays and all the action from this district season over between your Lady Wildcats and the Lady Chiefs. Just guys, want to let you guys know that it is very non-typical valley weather tonight. It is a brisk one. Temperature currently is in the low 40s. And that is something that is very unorthodox of what we got here in the Rio Grande Valley. So we are just about to get underway. Sarah Sanchez leading it off for the Lady Chiefs. She's also the catcher. First pitch coming from Ashley Garcia. It is swung on, knocked behind the press box for strike one. Good pitch there from Ashley. Little movement inside out on this right-handed batter. No balls and a strike. That one just a bit outside. That'll even up the count at one ball and one strike on the batter, Sarah Sanchez. In case you were wondering, we just mentioned that it is in the low 40s, hence the reason that Sarah is in the batter's box with a jacket on because it is a brisk night here in Westlake, Texas. That one, little low, popped up down the right field line and out of play. One ball and two strikes on the leadoff batter for the Lady Chiefs, the catcher, Sarah Sanchez. That one, just a little high and outside. One ball, two strikes. That one is in there for a call, strike three, and the first one goes down looking. One out to begin the opening of District 31 6A action. So Ashley chalks up a K as she faced her first batter here tonight. That's going to bring up the third baseman, number seven, Paulina Magdaleno. Swung on a little late. That one tails out to the right field line out of play. Strike one, 0-1 oh on the batter. So Ashley doing a good job getting ahead of her batters that she's faced here tonight. That one just a little low, so that'll even up the count at one and one. That one outside, breaking ball. That one is going to move the count to two balls and one strike on the third baseman, Paulina Magdaleno. That one's in there for strike two. Two balls, two strikes. Yeah. 
Here's the 2 2. Oh, a little low, a little outside, according to the umpire. That'll make the count full. Three balls, two strikes here on the second batter, the third baseman, Paulina Magdaleno. She swings. That one's popped up to right field. That is Abby Ortiz who gets under it for out number two. So Ashley puts away the first two batters she faces here in the bottom of the first inning, and that'll bring up the third slot, the first baseman, number 13, Galilea Jimenez. That one's outside. One ball and no strikes. The first time Ashley falls behind on a batter here in this ball game. And if I'm not mistaken, that's only the fourth pitch that has not gone in for a strike here in this ball game. 2 0 -oh count. Nobody on two outs here in the bottom of the first inning. That one is swung on. It's a short dribbler to the mound. Pitcher Ashley grabs it, turns around, and gets that one in there on time to retire the side. So Ashley faces three batters, and they all go down. It's three up, three down. We head to the bottom of the first inning, 0-0. Your Lady Wildcats coming up to bat. Westlaco ISD All Day Pre-K, where every child has a unique way of learning. Through fun activities, we encourage your child's creativity and compassion. At West Local ISD, our TEA certified teachers provide the highest standard of education along with social and emotional learning. Come join our family in one of the many elementary schools recognized with numerous distinction designations for their academic programs. West Local ISD, all day pre-K, the right choice. Welcome back to West Local East High School. K-West bringing you Lady Softball. Lady Wildcats taking on the Lady Chiefs of Donna North High School. It is the 31-6A season district opener. Coming up to bat is Allison Rogers. She swings at the first pitch right at the shortstop, Isabel Alvarez. And they're going to say that that one is in there on time for out number one. So Allison wastes no time, swings at the first pitch. To the shortstop, shortstop gets it in time for out number one. That'll bring up the right fielder, number 14, Abby Ortiz. Abby takes first pitch, called strike one. Janisa Garcia on the mound doing the pitching for the Lady Chiefs. That one just a little outside and a little high. So that is ball one, even up the count at one ball and one strike. Second pitch is swung on right to the pitcher, Garcia. Garcia fields that one clean. He picks it up, tosses it to first base for out number two. So Janisa making quick work of the first two batters. And that's going to bring up the third baseman, number 11, Rihanna Garcia. Rihanna lets the first one go. That one's outside. 1-0 one -oh count. Swings at the second one. That one's fouled back. Evens up the count at one. One ball and one strike. The one one. That one a little out, out of the strike zone. Two balls and a strike on the batter, Rihanna Garcia. Rihanna takes a hack at that pitch and she knocks it out of play. Evens up the count at two balls and two strikes. This Lady Wildcat team, team that made it to the playoffs, bowed out of the by district round of the playoffs, but bringing back six starters from last year's ball club. So looking for a real good season. Coach Vasquez was telling me before the game started. 
This one is hit up the middle, and that's the first hit of the night. So Rihanna gets on. So with two outs, we've got a runner on first base, and that's going to bring up the cleanup hitter, Lysha Castillo, number five. She plays first base for the Lady Wildcats. First pitch to her is in the dirt, and that's going to advance the runner. Good job by the catcher, Sarah Sanchez, to keep it in front of her. So one ball, no strikes. That one's inside. 2-0 count on the batter, Lysha Castillo. Still no score here, bottom for the first inning. Lady Wildcats do have a runner in scoring position as... Rihanna is at second base. She got first on a single to center. Pitch in the dirt allowed her to get to second base. Lysha in the box. Two balls and a strike. Two outs here in the bottom of the first inning. That one just a bit inside. 3-1 count. On the cleanup hitter, Laisha Castillo. Takes a hack of that one. That's to left field and it's hit hard. And rounding third base is Rihanna and she's going to score. She had no pause button on that one. That one was hit hard to left field. But she wasn't holding and with the throw to home, that's going to send Lysha to second base. So with two outs, run scores, they lead 1-0 your Lady Wildcats. That's going to bring up the pitcher, Ariana Cabrera. That one is high. One ball, no strikes. Two outs here in the bottom of the first. Ball outside. No, they're going to say that is a strike. Little delay on that call from the home plate umpire, Leo Dominguez. But nonetheless, he calls that a strike, so it's an even count at one and one. That one is driven hard to left field. I mean, to right field, excuse me. Right fielder cannot hold, handle it. And then an errant throw to second base is going to send Adiana all the way to third. So that's a single with an RBI. And then she advances all the way to third on an error by the right fielder. So your Lady Wildcats doing some damage with two outs here in the bottom of the first inning. So with two outs, Adriana at third base, that's going to bring up the second baseman, number three, Adriana Garcia. I'm sorry. That's going to bring up the catcher, number 20, Cecilia Bautista. Okay, I made a mistake here in my lineup sheet. This person at the plate is the second baseman, number three, Adriana Gonzalez. So I've got it all straight now. I apologize for that. So as I was straightening it out, she took two balls. And this third one she swings at goes to the shortstop. Little three hopper. And the speed of Gonzalez gets her on first. But that dribbler was enough to score Adriana Cabrera. So the Lady Wildcats continuing to explode with two outs here in the bottom of the first. And that's going to bring up the catcher, Cecilia Bautista. Go, 
First ball is a ball, so 1-0 count. That one is high, so that's ball two. Runner goes. Throw, little high. Stolen base there for Adriana. 3-0 count on the batter, Cecilia Bautista. Pitcher for the Lady Chiefs, Janisa Garcia. I don't have a pitch count for her, but on the first two batters, probably threw a total of four pitches to get two outs. And she struggled since, or better yet, the Lady Wildcats have really gotten her number since then. Called strike taken by Cecilia. She swings at this next one. That goes foul, so that'll make the count full. 3-2 with two outs. We do have a runner at second base. That one is hit to the shortstop. It gets through. And another run is going to score for your Lady Wildcats. Four runs have come across the plate with two outs here in the bottom of the first. We've got a pinch runner. And that's going to be Marisa Rodriguez. Five straight hits for your Lady Wildcats. And that's going to bring up the center fielder, number four, Tatiana Cabrera. She swings at the first one. That goes right up the middle. Make that six straight hits. And the hit parade is on. So this will bring up the ninth batter. Left fielder number two, Melissa Cabrera. Melissa comes to the plate with runners on first and second, two outs. Takes the first one for a called strike. <laughs> that one is swung on. Foul down the third base line. Nothing in two. Two outs here in the first, the bottom half of the first inning. Lady Wildcats up four to nothing. First two batters. Dribblers in the infield for the first two outs. And then after that, it's been hit after hit after hit. Six straight base hits, which have produced four runs for your Lady Wildcats. Nothing in two. Swung on. Fly to center field. Underneath it is Deanne De Leon. She snags it for out number three. But not before the damage was done. Six hits. Four runs for your Lady Wildcats in the bottom of the first inning. We head to the second. Your Lady Wildcats leading four to nothing. Before David Lozano started practicing law, he was a student at Westlaco ISD. He participated in UIL athletics. He was a regional qualifier. He earned college credits through the dual enrollment program. After high school, he attended the University of Texas before graduating from St. Mary's School of Law. Now he helps people in need as an attorney. WISD is home to some of the most prestigious graduates in the Rio Grande Valley. For David Lozano, Westlaco ISD was the right choice. Welcome back to Westlaco East High School. We are at the Westlaco East Softball Complex where your Lady Wildcats are taking on the Lady Chiefs of Donna North High School. This is K-West bringing you great 31 6 a Girls softball, I am Joe Aguilar, bringing you all of the action from this one. We are at the top of the second inning. Batting for the Lady Chiefs is going to be the shortstop, number six, Kelly Garza. First ball is low. Ball one. 
Adriana Cabrera making quick work in the first inning. Knocking down the first three batters that she saw. That one is in there for strike number one. One ball and a one strike. Three up, three down in the, in the top of the first. So they're now facing the cleanup hitter for the Lady Chiefs. That one's a little bit high and outside. Two balls and a strike. Wind is starting to pick up. It is a cold night here in Westlaco. Wind blowing out to left field. Home plate umpire shakes his head, says that one's a little low and inside. The count is three balls and one strike on the shortstop, Kelly Garza. That one's inside. She's going to take that one on the left shoulder. So she'll get on. First base runner for the Lady Chiefs here tonight. And that will bring up number 10, the second baseman, Kaylin Cavazos. So the runner on first, nobody out. Kaylin in the batter's box. Looks at the first one outside for ball number one. Looks at the second one, but that one's in there for strike number one. So one ball and one strike. Swings at that one, misses. One ball and two strikes. Nobody out. Run on first base. Here comes the one, two. That one is swung on, flied. It's in going down the right field line, just behind first base. Hustling out there to try to snag that one is Adriana Gonzalez, and she can't quite get to it, so it falls foul. Keep the count at one ball and two strikes. So we'll do it again, the one-two. That one's a wild pitch. That'll advance the runner to second base. And it'll even up, even up the count at two. Two balls, two strikes, nobody out. Runner on second base. Second baseman in at the batting spot. A little off-speed pitch. A little high. Count is now full. Swung on. Fouled back into the net. Count remains full for the second baseman, Kaylin Cavazos. And she swings and misses at that one. That's a strikeout, the second strikeout of the night for Adriana Cabrera. That's the first out of the second inning. That's gonna bring up the center fielder, number nine, Deanne De Leon. So with one out and a runner on second base. Puts the butt out sign out there, takes it back in time for ball one. Puts a bunt down. Third baseman picks it up, drops it, cannot field it cleanly. So runner will advance to third, and we've got Deanne safe at first. So with runners on the corner, one out, that's going to bring up the designated player, number 15, Mirai Reyes.
She'll bat from the left side of the plate. Runner goes, ball throw is on its way, not in time. So that's a stolen base for Deanne De Leon. First pitch is a ball, so it's a 1-0 count on the batter, Medai Reyes. That one catches a corner for strike number one. Same pitch right on the corner for strike two and a quick throw to the third baseman, Rihanna Garcia, to pick off K K Kelly Garza for the second out. So we now got two outs with a runner at second. And that one just a little outside, even up the count at two. So a great job there, snap throw from the catcher, Cecilia Bautista. A little high, let's make the count full. So we've got a full count with two outs on the batter, Deanne De Leon, I'm sorry, Mirai Reyes. She'll take that one for ball number four. So we've got runners on first and second with two outs. And that'll bring up the right field, number 16, Destiny Cantu. That's a strike. Adriana Cavadera doing a good job with the corners on batters from both sides of the plate. That one just a little bit low, so that'll leave it at the count at one. One ball and one strike. The Lady Chiefs had a runner at third. Who took one too many steps. And of course, Cecilia saw that quickly, threw it down the line to Rihanna. Rihanna doing a great job making the tag. One ball, two strikes, two outs. The one, two fouled in front of the plate. So the count will remain one ball and two strikes. Destiny Cantu, the right fielder, batting for the Lady Chiefs. That one a little low and outside in the dirt. Bautista keeps it in front of her. But it gets away from her enough for De Leon to advance to third. Reyes stays at first. So we got runners on the corner, two, two count with two outs. Swung on right at the second baseman, Adriana Gonzalez. She grabs that one out of thin air, and that will retire the side. No hits. Two runners left on. No runs. We head to the bottom of the second. Your Lady Wildcats four, the Lady Chiefs nothing. We'll be right back right here on K West. West Local ISD graduates receive more than $4 million in college scholarships, including dozens who will play college sports. More than 900 received a certification and are ready for the workforce or continuing their education. Over 400 honored graduates will have opportunities to study at top tier universities. And we are proud of our scholars graduating from medical school, law school, business school, and Ivy League universities. West Local ISD, the right choice for high school and beyond. 
Welcome back to Westerly's High School. K West bringing you 31 6A girls softball. Lady Wildcats taking on the Lady Chiefs from Don North High School. We head to the bottom of the second inning. And we begin the bottom of the second inning just like we began the ball game with the shortstop number seven, Allison Rogers. She takes the first pitch for ball one. Lady Wildcats batted through the order in their bottom half of the first. Six hits, produced four runs. That's where we're at, four to nothing in this ball game. Second pitch is a ball, so two balls and no strikes. On the shortstop, Allison Rogers. That one outside, 3-0 count. That one in there for strike number one. Three balls and a strike on your shortstop, Allison Rogers. Takes a swing at that one. It goes to center field, and that turns Deanne De Leon around. She chases it to the fence, and that's going to be a stand-up double for Allison Rogers. She is at second base, and that's going to bring up the right fielder, Abby Ortiz. Abby grounded out to the pitcher in the first inning. Having some words over there with Coach Vasquez. Well, they got all that squared away, and she's ready to get into the bat that batter's box. That one a little high and outside for ball one. That one's in there for strike number one. One ball and one strike. Nobody out. We've got a runner on second base. Abby takes a swing at that one at the shortstop. And that one, we'll label that one THTH, too hot to handle. So that single brings in a run. Allison Rogers scores from second base. And that's going to bring up the third baseman, number 11, Rihanna Garcia. Rihanna singled to center field her first time up and scored. She was the first one to come across after those two outs in the first inning. Takes the first one for strike one. That one's high, so that'll be a one-and-one -one count on Rihanna. Rihanna coming off a great basketball season. Swings at that one. That's another base hit to center field. That one gets by the center fielder to the wall, off the wall. And she's going to have a stand-up double. That'll send Abby to third base. So we got runners on second and third with nobody out. And that's going to bring up the cleanup hitter, first baseman Lysha Castillo. Lysha hits with some power. Hits that one hard to left field. It's down the line. Gets by the left fielder. Off the fence, and that's back-to-back -back doubles. But more importantly, she brings across two runners for your Lady Wildcats. So still no outs, runner on second base. That's going to bring up the pitcher, Ariana Cabrera. Pitcher against pitcher here. That one is low in the dirt. Good job there by Sara Sanchez to keep it in front of her and to keep the runner at second base. Another one in the dirt. This one gets away from her. So Lysha will go to third. 
2-0 count. Janisa hasn't been the same since the first two batters that she faced to start the ball game off. Three straight balls in the dirt. So the count is 3-0 on Adriana Cabrera. That's ball four. So Adiana gets on. We'll have a pinch runner in Danny Castillo. So with runners at the corner, no outs, that's going to bring up the second baseman, number three, Adriana Gonzalez. Adriana, part of that hit parade in the first inning. She singled in the first. She also scored in the first as well. Six a bat out there as to bunt, brings it back. Ball is in the dirt. Runner advances to second base. So she's got runners at second and third. Base hit will bring in those two runners. This one's flied out to left. Left fielder doesn't seem to have an eye on it. Not sure if she lost it in the lights or that one got caught up in the wind. But that's a stand-up double for Adriana. And that'll bring across two more runs for your Lady Wildcats. So here in the bottom of the second inning, they brought across five runs. Still no outs. And that's going to bring up the catcher, Cecilia Bautista. That one is in the dirt. Ball high and inside, so that's 2-0 count on the catcher, Cecilia Bautista. Cecilia singled in the first inning. Was left on base. That one right up the middle. Pitcher able to snag it. Gets it to first in time for out number one. So good job there by Janisa because that ball was hit hard. She's able to snag it, get it to first base on time for out number one. So with one out, runner on third base, that's going to bring up the center fielder, number four, Tatiana Cabrera. That's a wild pitch. And Adriana, plenty of speed to get her across the plate without having to slide. It'll make the score 10 to nothing here in the bottom of the second inning. Only one out. That ball is outside. 2-0 count. The 2-0 on Cabrera. That one is high. Three and nothing is now the count. <laughs> that one is in there for a called strike. She was taking all the way. So three balls and one strike. One out here on the center fielder, Tatiana Cabrera. That one is low in the dirt. So Tatiana will get on first, base on balls. And that will bring up the left fielder, Melissa Cabrera. <laughs> Melissa flew out to center field her first time up at bat tonight. But sign is on. 
not able to bring the bat back, so that's a strike. N nothing in one to count, one out. On the left fielder, Melissa Cabrera. Sticks that bat out there, but this time she brings it back. One ball, one strike, one out. Runner on first base. Melissa Cabrera at the plate for your Lady Wildcats. Two balls and a strike. And again, we've been seeing a lot of the players here tonight Coming up to bat with jackets on. It is a cold one here in South Texas. Something that we're really not used to. Bunted. That one goes down. Picked up by the catcher. To the first baseman in time for out number two. Tatiana advances to second and on the throw goes to third. So we'll go back to the top of the order. Batting here in the, for the second time in the second inning is Allison Rogers. Swings at the first one. That one goes right up the middle. So here in the second inning, she's got a double and a single. And we'll tack on an RBI to that as Tatiana comes in to score. That's the seventh run here in the bottom of the second inning for your Lady Wildcats. Score is now 11 to nothing. Abby Ortiz now at the plate. Grounded out to the pitcher her first time up at bat. Singled to left her second time up at bat. And her second time up at bat here in the second inning. Stolen base there by Allison Rogers, so she's now at second base. Two outs. That pitch is high and outside, so 2 0 count. On the batter, the right fielder, Abby Ortiz. Two outs here in the bottom of the second inning. Ball is in the dirt. That's going to send Alice into third base. 11 0 is your score. We are in the bottom of the second inning. Your Lady Wildcats brought across four in the first, seven here in the second. The 3 0. That's ball four. So that's going to bring up the third baseman, Rihanna Garcia. Rihanna is two for two tonight. She singled to center, and then she doubled to center her second time up at the plate. And this is her second time up at the plate here in the second inning. She's got runners at the corner with two outs. And we've got someone being caught off guard at third base. And that's going to be Allison Rogers. She's in the rundown. She's coming to third. She's running to home, and she's safe. Lady Chiefs couldn't hold on to that. Tried to apply the tag at the knee. Allison's knee knocked the ball out of the glove. So she's safe at home. And in all that chaos, Abby makes her way all the way to third base. So we've got two outs, a runner on third base, two balls and no strikes on the batter, Rihanna Garcia. That one is just like the last one, but a little further, because that one goes over the fence. So Rihanna knocks that one out of the park. So she's got a single, a double, and now a home run. We'll tack an RBI onto that as well.
So nine runs have come across here in the bottom of the second inning to extend the Lady Wildcat lead to 13. The score is now 13 to nothing in favor of your Lady Wildcats. Again, we mentioned earlier that that wind is blowing out to left field. We had the left fielder for the Donna Lady Chiefs, Isabel Alvarez, misjudge a fly ball. Again, we mentioned we're not sure if maybe it was the lights or maybe that wind carried it a little bit further than she thought it would go. And then that one was hit hard by Rihanna, just enough to get it over the fence. So now it's 13 to nothing in favor of your Lady Wildcats. Looks like we may have a substitution. Coach Vasquez is discussing it over with the home plate umpire, Leo Dominguez. So we'll have number 18, Marisa Rodriguez. She'll come in to play for Laisha Castillo. So Marisa takes a whack at the first pitch, hits it hard right past the first baseman. So Marisa comes in and picks up right where the other Lady Cats, Lady Wildcats left off, hits the ball hard right past the first baseman. So she's on, and that'll bring up number eight. Clarissa Martinez. Clarissa batting for the pitcher, Ariana Cabrera. So the umpire squaring everything away with the coach, making sure they get all the adjustments taken care of. So now we're back to live action. Two outs, runner on first for the batter, Gladisa Martinez. That one's in the dirt. Two balls and no strikes. Sara Sanchez, the catcher for the Lady Chiefs, doing a great job keeping the ball in front of her. That one's a little high. 3-0 count. Four straight balls. That'll put Clarissa at first base. So with runners at first and second, two outs, that's going to bring up the second baseman, number three, Adriana Gonzalez. Four runs in the first inning, 10 here in the second. 14 to nothing is your score in the bottom of the second inning. First pitch is swung on, hit hard into the Lady Wildcat dugout almost. So nothing one is the count. Here comes the 0-1. Swung on, that one is fouled back into the fence. So nothing in two is the count on the Adriana Gonzalez. There are two outs here in the bottom of the second inning. We do have runners on first and second base. Marisa Rodriguez and Clarissa Martinez both coming in to pinch hit. 
Single by Marisa on the first pitch she saw. Looks like the catcher wasn't aware of the count. Because Adriana swung on a third strike, missed it. And the catcher seemed to not know what was going on. So she's on first base. So we've got the bases full. And we've got another substitution. Batting for the catcher is going to be Magali Larriaga. Larraga. Two outs, bases loaded. First pitch is in the dirt, and again. Sanchez doing a great job not letting those get away from her. That could easily have been another run here in the bottom of the second inning. Second pitch is ball two. 2-0 two count, two outs, bases loaded for Magali La Raga looks at the third pitch for ball three. That one a little low. So Magali gets on first base, base on balls. Everyone will advance. That'll bring a run in. So that's the 11th run to come across the plate here in the bottom of the second inning for your Lady Wildcats to extend the lead 15 to nothing. That's going to bring up center field number four, Tatiana Cabrera. Tatiana, two for two here in tonight's ball game. And that's an out. So that'll retire the side. We'll head to the third inning. Your Lady Wildcats up 15 to nothing. You're enjoying Lady Wildcats softball right here on K-West. At Westlaco ISD, our elementary schools are diving into new and inventive methods of learning that are transforming lives one mind at a time. Our innovative learning practices have earned our elementary schools numerous TEA distinction designations for their academic programs. Now with open enrollment, WISD, academics, arts, and athletics. For families everywhere, Westlaco ISD elementary schools are the right choice. Welcome back to Westlaco East High School. We are now in the top of the third inning. We've got some changes for your Lady Wildcats. Now on the mound, Clarissa Martinez. First pitch is in there for a strike. Swung on and missed for strike number two. Janisa Garcia, the pitcher for the Lady Chiefs, up at the plate. And that one is swung on, and it's foul down the third base line. Marisa Rodriguez is now at first base for your Lady Wildcats and Magali Larraga went to second base for your Lady Wildcats. That's strike three. So Clarissa strikes out the first batter that she faces that's the third strikeout collected by your Lady Wildcats. So we'll head to the top of the order. The catcher, Sarah Sanchez, batting for the Lady Chiefs. That one is swung on and fouled here to the right side of the field. Good catch by the spectator. They're going to throw it back into the field of play. So 
So nothing in one, one out here in the top of the third inning. Sanchez swings at the second. This one's a fly ball to left field. Marisa Cabrera can't get a clean glove on it. So Sara Sanchez will go into second base. It's only the second time, I'm sorry, the third time we've had runners on base for the Lady Chiefs. So with one out and a runner at second base, that's going to bring up third baseman Paulina Magdaleno. Paulina flew, to, flew out to right field her first time up at bat. Takes the first pitch for a strike. That one, nice off-speed pitch, tailed away from the batter, swung on and missed for strike number two. That one just a little high and outside. That one looked more like Clarissa was going to see if she would go for one since she was ahead in the count. Clarissa with some good movement on that ball. Swung on and fouled right in front of the plate. Count will remain one ball and two strikes. We do have one out here in the top of the third. We got a runner on second base. 15 nothing is your score. Lady Wildcats lead. That one is outside, even up to the count at two. Swung on, that one's a dribbler to the second baseman. Magali does a great job getting in front of it, fielding it cleanly, and getting it to first base for out number two. Runner does advance to third. So we've got two outs with a runner at third, and that's going to bring up the first baseman, thir number 13, Galilea Jimenez. Galilea, her first time up at bat, grounded out to the pitcher. That would have been Adriana Cabrera. Great off-speed pitch there from Clarissa. Swung on and missed. So 0-1 count here with two outs. Little low in the dirt. So we got one ball and one strike. Adriana Gonzalez is now the catcher for the Lady Wildcats. Doing a good job keeping the ball from getting too far away from her. Two balls, one strike, two outs here in the top of the third inning. Little low, 3-1. That one to right field, and that one is snagged by Abby to retire the side. We have gone final here at West Laco East High School. Lady Wildcats open up the 31 district season with a win here at home as they trounce the Lady Chiefs of Donna North High School by a score of 15 to nothing. Great outings from the pitching of Adriana Cabrera and Clarissa Martinez. Four runs in the first, 11 in the second, and that's where we've gone final. Once again, from West Coast High School, final score, Lady Wildcats 15, Lady Chiefs nothing. Thank you for watching this ball game. Brought to you by K-West. want to thank Vinny Berry for all the great camera work. For K-West, I am Joe Aguilar saying goodnight from West Laco East High School. Where once again, your final score, the West Laco East Lady Wildcats 15, the Donna North Lady Chiefs 0. Good night.